the pathologies of the spine are the most common causes of disability now in this over 45. One of the most effective methods to ensure disability of the spine goes through the rigid flux of the unstable vertebra by a quick labor until the end of the fusion. In the next setter, connect two or more vertebra of them in the correct position and prevent them from moving until the antithesis of the place. The majority of current devices are based on metal screws which are placed through the pedicle and into the vertebral body. The X-ray image shows an example of the um, system fixator using the pedicle screw. The additive manufacturing is a powerful new tool that offers the necessary competitiveness to companies that produce prototypes or high complex products. In the field of realization of medical products, there is the possibility to realize spurious materials with control and pore sites combined with massive parts. This feature gives to the device excellent ability to also integrate for the secondary stability. The EBM is one of the AM process capable of processing metal powders using the principle of layer by layer. During the EBM process, metal powers are selective melted layer by layer through the electron beam. Medical screw tested in this work have been constructed by a system. This figure shows a cycle start from CT data to the final device. The purpose of this work was to examine the mechanical characteristics of pedicle screws in titanium alloy obtained by the additive manufacturing process, EBM, electron beam melting, and to compare these with pedicle screw obtained with additional technology. The work was conducted in collaboration between the University of Catania and MT Orto. MT Orto is a Sicilian company involved in the production of serial and custom made medical devices. In particular, this focuses in the field of oncology surgery, orthopedic neurosurgery. The this sector often have needs that they aren't only satisfied by the traditional technology. To analyze the mechanical property of the medical screw, we refer to the standard ASTM. F543, standard specification test method for metallic equipment and bone screw, especially the annex A3, test method for determining the axial pull up thread of medical bone screw. The following medical screw were examined. The first BS was, was, was produced by the process from MT Orto. The BC, BT, and BS are commercially screw produced with the traditional technology. To perform a static plot test, the test plot were made up of polyurethane foam and the three different density foam were used to simulate different osteoporotic tissue. The test block were, milled, were, were, were drilled with a milling wheeling cup with a thip of 3 mm and the screw were inserted manually. Three tests for each grade and for each screw were carried out and the grip mechanism for the test machine were designed using 3D cut solid works and, made, and were made of stainless steel. Zikrol electric test machine was used to perform the test and the testing load was applied at rates of 5 mm per minute until the failure of the screw. The graph show an example of load displacement groups obtained and the table show that for each screw and for each grade the load values in which the screw were pulled out in the static test. The DC screw has shown at all grades a lower resistance to pull out the test respect to the DC and the VT screw. This behavior can be attributed to the lower end of the, of the thread profile and to the smoother fillets. These, uh, these characters negative for the resistance to pull out test became positive to avoid the stress concentration on the bone. To analyze this different behavior, also fatty pull out tests were performed. Loading cycle starts from an initial value calculated as a percentage of the breaking load obtained in the static case, incrementing the load values after the failure of the, after the, failure of the screw. Each, um, each, loading, um, each loading step 
applied uh, 100 times since 2004 with cost and amplitude and the loading ratio equal to zero. The cross head speed was set at 200 newton per second. The fallout force is in dynamic condition show lower difference than in the static case. To analyze the different interface between skew and bone, also photoelastic analysis and finite element analysis was performed. For the photoelastic analysis, the screw were inserted manually within the block of photoelastic material, previously drilled with milling cutter with a tip of 3 mm. To characterize the photoelastic material, a tensile test was performed on a narrow strip. And the specimen was, was observed on plate, polariscope with white, yellow, and green light sources. The fringes were quantified in situ. The number of fringes were 16 for BC screw and 8 for the BS screw. This result confirms what was previously stated. A plate with a smoother profile ensure a more uniform distribution of the stress and reduce the notch effect. Finish element analysis was performed with the software ANSYS bench to reproduce the same condition studied with, studied with the photoelastic uh, analysis. Photoelastic material was subject to the pressure generated by displacement uh, corresponded to the difference between uh, the screw geometry and the cylindrical hole previously drilled. The figure shows the, the trend of the uh, Tresca stresses and the maximum shear stress was about 5 MPa for BS screw and 10 MPa for BC screw. Well, the static binding test was also carried out. The screw was mounted on orange wooden blocks and a vertical force was applied on the screw head with a 25 mm lever arm. The lower displacement pools were obtained and the test highlights the different behavior of the BS screw obtained by the process and BC screw obtained by traditional metallurgical technique. The first has shown a brittle behavior, the second a ductile behavior. So in the first case we have a structural failure, in the second case a functional failure. In order to perform a fatty body test, it was necessary to lock the head of the screw with a bullet joint to avoid overstress phenomena related to elastoplastic deformation and clearances and to assure the position control. To allow the connection between the screw head and the bullet joint, it was necessary to design two mechanical components in K100 steel. The fatigue bending test was performed under displacement control and from the knowledge of the low displacement goods obtained in the study case, it was possible to design a sequence of increasing level displacement and the upper load and the temperature were recorded over time simultaneously. Surface temperature was evaluated in real time through a thermographic camera and the temperature trend was recorded in four specific points, two spots on the screw in the area subjected to the great stress, and two spots on the wooden block. By applying the residual method, it was also possible to obtain the fat limit and the fat cube. The, te the stabilization temperature was plotted as a function of stress due to the bending mode, to the bending, to the bending moment, and the delta limit is obtained from the intersection of the trend line with the x axis. Also, with the digital method, it's also possible to obtain the fatty curve. Even with a limited number of the specimen, the thermographic analysis allowed to obtain the fatty limit of the component studied, that was the 300, 314 MPa for VS screw and 217 megapascal for PC screw. This work was performed to a preliminary manual analysis to assess the performance of medical titanium screw obtained by the chief manufacturing process IBM. Experimental and numerical test was performed to compare the IBM screw with the commercial screw. The test turned out and shown encouraging results. The, the first screw have higher oscilloptive capacity, 
have shown a lower stress contribution factor and higher bending resistance, but also have shown lower pull-out resistance and a better behavior. The second experience said have shown higher stress concentration factor and lower bending resistance, but also, but also higher pull-out resistance and doctor behavior. Thank you for coming. Thanks.